Hello, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at brake fluid and power steering fluid. Can you use brake fluid for power steering fluid? This is a question most persons ask when they either have used their power steering fluid and now what they have available is the brake fluid. And so, they to know if they can use brake fluid instead power steering fluid. On other occasions, some have accidentally used brake fluid in place of power steering fluid and are wondering if there are consequences attached to this error. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Before we go into details, let's look at the difference between the two fluids. It can be quite nightmarish to be out of power steering fluid, especially at the worst moment. Power steering fluid is highly essential for every vehicle and needs immediate replacement whenever the level drops too low. What is a brake fluid? The main function of brake fluid is to absorb moisture in the system. It is a glycol-based fluid that also helps to dispel heat from the system. Note that, unlike power steering fluid, brake fluid is not a good lubricant. Brake fluid is used for static brakes. It has a cylinder on the primary side and also on the secondary side. What is power steering fluid? Power steering fluid functions as a lubricant between two metal surfaces in contact with each other. It is a petroleum-based fluid that acts as a pressure transfer medium. Power steering fluid is mostly used for dynamic steering. It has a pump on the primary side and a cylinder on the secondary side. Difference between brake fluid and power steering fluid you can notice a seeming distinction between the two fluids. Before the advancement in power steering fluid, it could be used in place of power steering fluid. The fluids began to improve in quality and composition with technological evolution, with the developers creating them for a detailed purpose. Therefore, it is suitable to use only power steering fluid for power steering and brake oil for brakes as all automobiles give the finest performance. Though in some dire cases, where there is no other alternative, Brake fluids can be used as power steering oil, it should be the once in a blue moon. Brake fluid should never be used in power steering because this system requires fluid with a high boiling point. However, you can interchange power steering fluid for brake fluid, howbeit occasionally, since both are hydraulic fluids. Points to note if you add brake fluid in power steering. 1. You should understand that using brake fluid in power steering is dangerous, hence, consider the situation critically. Two. The seals used in the brakes can be damaged by petroleum oil. Adding brake fluid in power steering can cause the rubber seals to swell because it creates many complications. Also, brake fluid melts paint from the surface. 3. You must flush out everything from the reservoir immediately after noticing you use the wrong fluid. This would be easy because you have not started your car. However, removing or extracting once you've started your car can be difficult because the two fluids are already mixed up. 4. Use a turkey baster to remove the brake fluid from the reservoir. Alternatively, you can separate the return line from the steering on the pump on the primary side. 5. You can keep that line in a bucket until the reservoir gets empty. Another thing you can do is crank your car engine on a starter for a few seconds. 6. When the pump is empty, you can recouple the whole system and fill the reservoir with the right fluid. 7. After this, run your car forth and back twice or more. This is to help flush out all the air from the system. Are there penalties for pouring brake fluid into power steering? If you mistakenly pour brake fluid into power steering, there could be some consequences, including 1. Difficulty in extracting the fluid from the system once it is circulated. 2. The swelled up effect in rubber seals would be amplified, causing leakages. 3. The resulting smell from the mix-up is offensive and affects the working of the power steering. Four. It could result in expensive damages if you fail to remove the brake fluid from your system immediately. 5. Even though your power steering is not immediately affected, it may affect it in the long run. Fluids you should use in the power steering. You can use two major fluids for your car's power steering, power steering fluid and automatic transmission fluid, ATF. Many heavy loaded vehicles on the roads require smooth steering to guide the wheels properly. Also, Car accessories are becoming more complex with technological innovation. Power steering systems are now hard to service like those complex systems. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. For these reasons, 
People use power steering fluid or automatic pressure transmission fluid to ease the power steering system's friction, corrosion, wear, and resistance. The power steering system has a pump powered by a car engine. This pump helps to deliver the high pressure power steering fluid to the steering gear. When you turn your steering, the power steering fluid aids the wheels, making it easier for the driver to maneuver the steering. The kind of power steering fluid you should use depend on the material composition of your power steering system. Safe alternatives of power steering fluids. Different power steering fluids come with different chemical compositions, so it is best to know the safe options to use to avoid issues in your vehicle. It is even worse to use brake fluid as an alternative for power steering because it has different chemical composition. The chemical makeup of brake fluid includes 60 to 90% solvent, 5 to 30% lubricant, 2 to 5% additives. Automatic transmission fluid, ATF is the most commonly used power steering fluid that most vehicle manufacturers patronize. ATF consists of 85 to 90% base oil and 0 to 15% additives. The course of choosing a compatible automatic transmission fluid can be problematic because using the wrong type can cause major damage to the transmission. Automatic transmission fluid has exact additives, viscosity, and friction coefficient, so they vary. There are numerous types of transmission fluids. The best type to use in your vehicle includes 1. Dexron This transmission fluid comes with a greenish, grayish, or brownish color. Initially, the sperm whale oil was used as a friction modifier by the Dexron fluid. However, the importation of sperm whale oil was barred, leading to a reformulation. Dexron transmission fluid has a green, gray, or brown coloring, which is different from the red and purple coloring of ATF. There are now various Dexron transmission fluid including, Dexron 2, Dexron 8 and Dexron EE, Dexron G, Dexron 3G, Dexron 3H, Dexron 4, Dexron VI. 2. Mercon, this transmission fluid is also suitable for use in power steering. Variations on this fluid type include Mercon CJ, Mercon H, Mercon Ford, Mercon V, and Mercon SP. How to change brake fluid. Every car owner should endeavor to change brake fluid regularly. The boiling point of brake fluid decreases over time since it absorbs water from the air. If left unchanged, it leads to poor or no braking at all. Regularly change your brake fluid to ensure the brake system is functioning efficiently. How to add brake fluid Before you add brake fluid, check the level to ensure it is between the min and max marks on the reservoir. Consult a qualified mechanic if the brake fluid level is under the min mark. Before adding brake fluid, you should note that this is not usually necessary since there is no brake fluid consumption. You should be informed that worn brake linings or a leak from the hydraulic system could point to low brake fluid. Avoid adding brake fluid if the brake fluid reservoir is empty or if your brake pedal goes right to the floor. The brake system may have a leak, so avoid using your vehicle until the problem has been fixed. How to add power steering fluid the power steering fluid reservoir is usually on or near the engine in the engine compartment. To ascertain the fill level, you can wipe the reservoir with a clean cloth. There is no steering fluid consumption, the level on the reservoir should be between the max and the min mark. Note that there may be a leakage in the system if the fluid level is under the min mark. Consult a qualified mechanic to fix this. Endeavor to change the fluid occasionally to keep your steering system in a good state. In conclusion. Ensure you check the level of the power steering fluid on a monthly basis to see if it still contains the right amount of fluid. Also, ensure you instantly extract the brake fluid from the power steering system whenever you mistakenly use the fluid wrongly. Though it may not create an instant complication, it always has a long-term effect if left unchecked. This is all we've got in today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.